counter. Now, the kitchen. I kind of work around the room, so I'm going to work down the right side, wipe down the tables, and then out. With the kitchen, I pull the liners. I'll leave extra liners in here, and I should have some. Always make sure you tie these liners at the top. They happen to empty the refrigerator, get some heavy trash in here, and that liner goes down in that can. That is not fun. Always want to tie those at the top. At the end, we'll grab some paper towels and wipe these all down. straighten stuff as you go wipe it all down we don't get the insides of the uh, microwaves but hit the outside real quick also the fronts of the cabinets there's spots and spatters I'm gonna hit those Here's what I'm going to do with this. This sink, throughout the week it's been pretty much filled with dirty dishes. Now we don't do dirty dishes, nor do we move them in order to clean the sink. But when the sink is finally cleared out, what we oftentimes have to do is I'll give it a quick rinse. And then we want to go ahead and hit them with scrubbing bubbles and make them nice again. Because you probably won't see the bottom of that sink for another week because they have dirty dishes in it all the time. So I'll spray it with this, let that set a second. Then I have this scrubbing pad in there. We'll use that. Now with the kitchen sink, especially I like to use paper towels. I'll spray it down. I'm gonna hit the wall if it needs it. this entire sink make sure you wipe it down really good now if this sink is full of dishes which most often is you just put all the dishes in the sink and and clean around them we don't do dishes and we don't do the sink if there's if it's full of dishes now um, go ahead and hit this and hopefully you can tell the difference from this camera the difference with this sink Scrub. After you've done with the scrubbing bubbles, you have to give it some elbow grease. Now this is when they really tell that you've done your job and they come in on Monday morning and they see the kitchen sink is really shiny and nice. Good. I'll go ahead and hit the counter. Now this 
trash can isn't used often. This one is. Now, while I have these paper towels in my hand, I'll go ahead and spray down the top of the trash can. Go ahead and wipe it down. Again, I want to make sure we tie the liners at the tops. Now I want to spray down all the tops of the tables and check the chairs if they need wiped down. Also underneath the table, if there's a spot that needs to be cut and mopped under the table, go ahead and pull the chair up and make sure we get that when we mop. Sometimes we put the tables up on the up on the, or the chairs up on the tables, but most of the time we just pull the chairs out mop under them and put them back. Looked like the kitchen was used too much this time. There will be times when this kitchen is pretty much trashed, but looks like there was a lot of people away from work Friday. Notice I don't spray the chair. My cloth is already wet enough to wipe them down. Um, okay, we'll just leave these chairs out. So when we mop, we'll put them back. Uh, this time, there's not a whole lot of crumbs and stuff on the floor. So I probably wouldn't dry mop at first. But a lot of times, if there's a lot of crumbs and a lot of dry stuff on the floor, you want to dry mop first and then wet mop. Um, check the fronts of the cabinets. And then I grab a few paper towels. Paper towels is full. At least close to being full. Make sure this uh, this can is is you know pretty close to being full because depending on the day, if everybody's working. It looks like they will be Monday. A lot of paper towels are going to get used, and we don't want this to go empty. Soap is good. And then take the paper towels and wipe down the tops. food or anything that's on top of those. Let me get that off. 